Today I'm going to be taking you through the key differences between the Baby Bee Rover 3 and the Luna Mini. The super stylish Rover 3 is our full functioning, full size travel system that can be used with bassinet, seat or car capsule attached to the frame. It's the perfect option for parents and especially first time parents who are after a full functioning, super versatile pram that can take you from zero to four years. The Luna Mini is a great low fuss stroller designed for parents of older toddlers who are downsizing from a full pram, after a second stroller, or are simply on a tighter budget. There are a couple of key differences you'll want to consider. The first is the seat. The Luna Mini has a fixed seat which can only face forwards, not parent facing, whereas the Rover 3 seat is fully reversible. In terms of size and weight, the Luna Mini is slightly more compact than, and lighter than the Rover 3, as you can see here. The Luna Mini has a one-step fold, whereas the Rover 3 does require both hands, but both are relatively easy. The handlebar of the Rover 3 is telescopic and adjustable to suit both tall and short people, whereas the Luna Mini has a fixed handlebar. In terms of newborn options, both prams can be used from birth, but there are a couple of key differences in how. The Luna Mini isn't specifically de designed for newborns like the Rover 3 is, however it's 100% safe to do so because of the fully flat recline in the seat. Bub will need to be secured in the 5 point safety harness which can be a little bit tricky when they're wrapped in swaddles or blankets and they don't have the full protection from the elements that you get from the Rover 3 bassinet. The optional Luna newborn cocoon can be attached and removes the need for a harness, however just note that you cannot fold the Luna Mini with the cocoon attached, so you will need to remove it and reattach it when folding and unfolding the stroller. You also cannot attach a car capsule to the Luna Mini. The Rover 3 has a purpose-built standalone bassinet for newborns that just fits into the same connection points as the seat. Because of the bucket style seat on the Rover 3, it cannot recline to fully flat, so the bassinet provides the flat surface you need for transporting a newborn. You don't need to use a harness with the bassinet. The bassinet is designed to be parent facing in the Rover 3, which is the preferred option for zero to six months. Because of the fixed seat in the Luna Mini, you won't have the option for Bub to be facing you. However, you do have a peekaboo flap in the canopy, so you can keep an eye on them. The Rover 3 also has more storage than the Luna Mini. It comes with a handlebar bag included, has this pocket in the back of the seat, and the basket is considerably bigger. Both come fully loaded with free accessories. The Rover 3 comes with a seat liner, harness covers, belly bar, handlebar bag, UV cover or mosquito net, and rain cover. And the Luna Mini comes with a seat liner, harness covers, belly bar, foot cover and a rain cover. So in short, both are great strollers, they just have different use cases. If you'll be using it with a newborn and your budget allows for it, I'd highly recommend the Rover 3. The previous version was rated last year's best four wheel stroller by productreview.com.au and I can assure you the Rover 3 is even better. If your little one is over one or you're looking for a second stroller, the Luna Mini is a great alternative and just a little bit more convenient and compact. It's also a more, more affordable option. If you need any more information about either of these models, we've got comprehensive demo videos of both models on our YouTube channel. And you can of course contact our customer care team anytime via email or on social media. Thanks for watching.